your dime. We're going into year eight of Roadworks, a grand 10-year plan. The Raimondo era's ambitious rebuild the roads and bridges blueprint that lost the tolls in court and the public's enthusiasm when the bridge closed. I-team reporter Tamara Sikarsik questioned state leaders about whether money troubles could cause setbacks. From the 610 in Providence to Route 37 in Cranston, $3.1 billion has been spent repairing bridges across Rhode Island to reach 90% structural sufficiency by 2026. You're confident we'll hit that goal? In the next two years, we're going to hit that mark. 306 bridges have been repaired since Roadworks was first enacted in 2016, decreasing the number of structurally deficient bridges to 14% from a high of 27%. Right now, we've got another um, 50 that are structurally deficient. But a cloud of cash troubles is looming. The anticipated price tag on the Washington Bridge just ballooned to nearly half a billion dollars. And the state's truck toll legal battle is still tied up in court. Are you concerned about the future funding of infrastructure with all these things happening? Absolutely not. Yet documents obtained by the I-team show a grimmer picture. Out of the roughly $100 million in truck toll revenue generated and spent on roadworks projects, only $5 million is left. While the state has gotten an influx of federal funds, we have a 20% state match, a chunk of money that falls onto Rhode Islanders. Our primary way of, of providing that state match is through the, the gas tax. A tax that Rhode Island Public Expenditure Council President Michael DBA says is no longer sustainable as the state moves toward electric vehicles. If we don't put any new revenue sources in place, we will likely need to borrow that money. Governor McKee already wants to borrow against the state's future federal highway funding and gas tax revenue for the Washington Bridge. Bonds for additional road work would put the state in a tricky financial spot. Do you have a long-term solution? We do not yet. State lawmakers also searching for answers. Gas tax, the Washington Bridge, the truck tolls. Are you worried about this at all? It's a concern, but I have a bigger concern if we didn't have the other, other sets of resources. In the past, Rhode Island has increased DMV fees to send more money to the Infrastructure Trust Fund, but with so many projects already planned, we'll need a larger pot of cash to grab from. If we don't keep making improvements, we will uh, we'll reverse that progress. Even after road works, 10% of our bridges will still be in poor condition, so the funding needs to come from somewhere. Senator De Palma mentioned a possible tax on electric vehicles. DBA says the state may be looking at expanding truck tolls to include all trucks if the state's appeal is struck down. Nothing has been formally introduced at the state house yet to supplement either funding mechanism. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarczyk.